Coach, how does this trade um, improve your team? Well, we you know we think we've got two very good players. You know, uh, Nick Bukestad is a guy that uh, that that has shown an ability to score in this league. He's a you know 45 to 50 point guy. We think uh, he has more upside. He's still young. Uh, he brings more size to our team and a whole lot of skill. I think Jared McCann is a guy that another young player that can really skate. Uh, good penalty killer can uh, can help us become harder to play against. So they're two guys that we think can. Can fit into the uh, to the lineup here and, and have the ability to play the, the the type of game that we're trying to play, and they can fill roles that that uh, we think we need we need help in. So uh, we're real excited about these guys. We we think they're going to make us a better team. Was there an importance placed on finding a right hand shot in the center role? Um, well, I mean, it, it certainly is a bonus when you when you have a right handed shot based on the fact that we've got so many lefties. Uh, that's certainly a bonus, but uh, you know I'm not going to say that uh, that that was our main focus, our main priority. We're trying to get good players first and foremost, and and players that that can complement the group that we have and that can help us become a better team. What do you think, Broussard being with your team ultimately fell short of expectations? Well, to you know, to Brass's defense, he, he was he was asked to play a role that's that's different uh, than he's played in his career. Uh, him and I have had a lot of conversations over the last year or so and on, uh, on, on trying to help him uh, establish his game uh, in the role that we try to cast him in. Uh, he's a very good player, make no mistake. Brass is a very good player. And, and even for a guy that, you know, that I, I think our expectations were so high of him because we, we value how good of a player he is, it's not like he didn't produce or help us win. Uh, you know, you look at his... His goal production this year is he's on somewhere between a, you know, somewhere around a 17, 18 goal pace, uh, playing a role that uh, that is is not quite uh, as uh, as large as what he's played on maybe some other teams when when he was a top two center iceman. So, you know, sometimes this happens uh, for whatever reason. I still have so much respect for Brass and the and the person and the player that he is. Uh, it's it's unfortunate that didn't, it didn't work the way we had all hoped, and, and, and Brass and I had that conversation today. But make no mistake, he's a very good player. He's a great person. We wish him well. Mike, are Nick and Jared here at this point? Is the expectation still for them to play tonight? Well, they're on route right now, and our hope is is that uh, they're going to get here on time to play. You mentioned the other night, uh, Teddy. You'd hope to get him more <coughs> PK time. Riley's departure certainly would suggest maybe an opening for Teddy in that area. Yeah, well, I, you know, we we really like Teddy's game. We know he can help us uh, in that regard. Uh, he's certainly going to get some penalty kill time tonight. Who's your goaltender tonight? Casey. Casey. And Gino's status? Gino is not going to play tonight. He's not going to play this weekend. His status right now is day to day with an upper body injury, um, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll update you guys as 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 we go on. You have to go with seven defensemen tonight. You know, things don't work out with these guys coming to Pittsburgh. Just how does that change things for you at all? Uh, well, we, it means we have 11 forwards and seven defensemen. So we'll have to change line combinations. Uh, we'll have to figure it out. But, you know, we, we have capable guys. We, you know, we have game plans for, um, for whatever we're up against. So we're, we're prepared for it. it just, it's just a matter of, um, you know, how it all plays out. Frustrating at all with Gino? You know, it seemed like he really got something there Wednesday. And that, yeah, that it is. Out. You know, I'm disappointed for him because yeah. he had a great game. Uh, you know, we think uh, you know that would that was a game that he could really build on. But you know, we're hopeful that uh, you know this is this is a short term thing, and, and he'll be right back in our lineup. But um, but but certainly the fact that that he had a strong game as he did the other night is encouraging, um, and and we're looking forward to getting him back in our lineup. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay.